Hello, my name is Amber Darby, and today I will be talking about Ed Lowe, the king of the cat litter trade. Ed Lowe, or Edward Lowe, was born on July 10th, 1920, in St. Paul, Minnesota. After serving in the Navy in World War II, the 27-year-old returned home to South Bend, Indiana, to work at his father's saw dust business. Um, one day in 1947, he was approached by a cat-loving neighbor named Kay Draper. Um, at this point in time, America was shifting from the war back into civilian life. Um, and with that came the mindset of um, products and ideas to make the life of a homeowner better. Also, the inflation, which was coupled with high education rates, um, this would result in wage increases, which would encourage people to buy products more. Um, but that um, did not come without any problems or any inconveniences. Um, for instance, people had always been fascinated with cats and keeping them as pets. Um, however, there was the problem of keeping cats indoors permanently, um, specifically due to the needs of them going to the bathroom, um, especially with the smells. Um, Homeowners home would use sand, sawdust, and even ashes in little boxes to cover up the smell, but in most cases, that was not enough. Um, Draper, the neighbor, she was able to use ashes in the cat box, but the cat would dirty up the house with the sooty, sooty paws, and at the time that she was meeting up with Lau, um, the sandbox was frozen. So she came to Lo um, for some sawdust while complaining about her problem, and ironically, um, Lo received a shipment of granulated clay um, in the same year, which um, you see sawdust at the time was being used to clean up grease, um, grease spills. But because it was so flammable, um, companies had switched to clay instead. Um, when Lowe's father received the sample shipment of new clay, um, he placed it away and never actually had used it because of his loyalty to a different brand. So, um, Lau realized that the clay was absorbent, and so instead of giving Draper sawdust, she, um, he gave her the clay instead. When she returned a few days later, um, asking for the clay, um, Lowe felt as if he was on to something. And so to test it out, he put the, the granulated clay in sacks and labeled the sacks with the term kitty litter. When the customers returned uh, a few days later for kitty litter, um, Lowe knew that he was on to something, that he had what may have been a potential business. And so two years later, Lowe left his father's sawdust business and he began selling hand-filled bags of kitty litter to show cat shows and pet stores, which became a booming business. By 1985, cats had passed dogs as the most popular American pets, and as a result, um, Lowe became a millionaire almost overnight. To get even more income, um, he decided to create other brands. Um, first, there was the flagship Kitty Litter, but then he also moved on to other brands such as Tidy Kitty and the lower price variety um, Sophisticat. By 1985, his privately owned company had sales of $100 million. He would then sell Kitty Litter Operations for $2 million plus stock in 1990. By then, his company had grown to about 600 employees and $165 million in annual sales. During his lifetime, Lowe has secured more than 170 patents, trademarks, and copyrights for products and services. 
Although most of the innovations were related to the cat box filler business, he also had other um, products such as pre-cut packaged firewood, a dust-free carrier for agricultural pesticides, and a wellness program for company executives. Lowe died at 75 in Sarasota, Florida in 1995 after dealing with complications from surgery from, sorry, from surgery for a cerebral hemorrhage. In 2015, his invention had become a $2 billion industry. And so overall, what was just an accidental idea had turned a young veteran into the king of the cat litter trade. Thank you.